Welcome to Xamarin Inform Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use toolbar icons inside our Xamarin Inform application. So, what is toolbar icon? When we are using any application, inside the navigation bar, there are some icons. So, this, uh, these icons are used for some actions. Suppose here is my application and inside my navigation bar we already have that home button home icon and the about icon and also three dot and this is the secondary icon so when we click on the home button we can set any action okay so here is my home icon and here is my about icon and we can also set the secondary icons but secondary icons secondary actions don't have any icons it only shows as a text so when we use the secondary accents at that point we can only see from this three dot icon so when we click on the three dot icon it will show the secondary menus okay and there is the icons that is the primary menus so how to click how to create these icons inside our xamarin form application to create toolbar icons inside any of the pages we have to go to the top of the pages and inside this content page we can use the content page dot toolbar icons okay so here is my content page dot toolbar icons and inside this toolbar icon tags we have to add the toolbar icon item okay and this, this toolbar item takes some properties so first of all we are going to add two primary icons primary icons means that will shows only icons so to add the primary icons we have to set the icon for that and the second option is priority and the priority is zero that means i am going to show this icon at the first of the of the layer okay and the second property is order so here i am using primary icon so that is the reason i am taking the primary order and the last one is click action and this click action is for when the primary icons clicked it will handle this click event handler okay so first of all we have to set the icon for that and how to set the icon basically for toolbar icons there are few icon sizes for android we are going to resource folder and inside this resource folder we have multiple folders called drawable folders and these drawable folders are useful for adding images and icons for different type of dpi means density per inch so here for this toolbar icons we have to add different type of icons inside these folders so inside these drawable folders put the drawable icons toolbar icons the size of 24 pixel for drawable hdpi put 36 pixel and for x hdpi put 48 pixel and for double x hdpi put 60 pixel and this for the last one triple x hdpi is 72 pixels so here is the size of different type of drawable folders you can download the icons from multiple websites like icon aids and icon finder and lot of websites are there for downloading the png icons and svg icons but here is the resolutions of the icons so i already insert my icons inside these drawable folders and give it to the meaningful names for about icon here is the about icon.png and all the icon name should be same inside this drawable folder because this is the drawable folder about icon.png and drawable hdpi about icon.png so i am going to add this home icon dot png okay so i am going to copy this line and here is my about icon 
and here I am changing the priority as 1 that means the first icons should be home icon after that about icon and next going to add a secondary icon so this secondary icon means this secondary menu will be located on the three dot menu so when we click on the three dot menu it will open a pop-up and this pop-up will contains this secondary menus so for toolbar icon secondary menu we have to set the text for that so here is my text and we have to use the about menu and we have to change the order as secondary and the priority as two and this is our logout menu and the priority is three that's it and change the event handler as possible that's it so this is for the toolbar icons and this toolbar icons created inside our content page xml so how to use and how to create this toolbar icon inside our backend class okay so go to the code behind page of the content page and inside this content page how to add the toolbar icon inside this page using c -sharp. to add the toolbar icon using c -sharp, we have to create a instance of the toolbar icons so here i am going to use a toolbar item item equals to new toolbar item and this item i am going to add this as a secondary item so item dot text as contact us and this item dot priority equals to 5 and item dot order as toolbar icon order dot secondary that's it and how to add the click event to this item so item dot click and plus equals to and add a method contact us clicked and let me add this method so that's it and here I am going to implement this click event handler inside this code behind file that's it so in this video we learned that how to add toolbar icon inside our content page and also how to create the toolbar icons inside our content page backend so that's for today thank you for watching have a great day